CBD is completely legal. It is a non-psychoactive substance, but it has been living in a strange gray area for which there has been a tiny amount of clarification by the government. Unfortunately, it hasn't been done with, uh, I think, enough careful thought and respect for people in the industry who might have spent some time thinking about this. But the Home Office has now come to an agreement. Essentially, when you get CBD, you have to get it from the cannabis plant and you normally get it from the hemp plant which has a lot more cbd in it than thc but it does have some thc in it so you must then distill the product down so that it's within the legal limits to not have too much thc in it that limit has been debated back and forth and it's all now hung on this strange idea of what is a serving of cbd because there is an agreement from the home office um that you can now have 50 um, nanograms of thc in one serving of cbd but a serving of cbd has now been suggested to be 10 micrograms instead of 70 micrograms long story short the amount of thc that the home office, home office has gone firm on is strangely going to be higher than the amount that was previously sort of being proposed by the industry. Because they've adjusted the CBD serving size, but not the THC. They've adjusted the serving CBD size, service yeah. size okay. down, and they've now gone firm on this per serving. But, but what's the a serving? Is it one drag of a vape pen? Mm. Is it, you know, one uh, drink of, of CBD? How many of them are you going to have per day? It's unclear. So... The reason I'm saying this is there's a lot of CBD products out there. The quality of them is not equal. There's a lot of moves in the industry to try and make that better. There are industry um, organizations who have come together to try and set a standard and ensure that the CBD products that are for sale in this country are meeting that set standard. And I would advise anybody who is planning on using a CBD product to do a bit of research on, you know, how um, how that product has been produced, where the, the certificate of analysis has come from, where it tells you what's in it. <coughs> but the reason I'm boring you with all of this is because if you never have to take a drugs test and actually the idea of having a bit of uh, THC and some kind of entourage effect of the other cannabinoids and terpenes is what you're looking for, then great. But if you are bothered about that and you are bothered about having THC in your system, at the moment, if you take um, a CBD product that has a small amount of THC in it, give it a couple of weeks and I wouldn't be surprised if you start coming positive on a it, on a. If you're taking test. a CBD regularly. Because yeah, okay. if you're taking a, a, an oil that is, you know, 98% proven CBD... And, you know, people out there might say, oh, that's absolute bollocks. That's not true. Well, I've seen results from clinical trials that have gone on where they've done PK data on people who've been taking a, you know, very high potency CBD oil for a particular duration. And by the end of the trial, they were showing positive for THC. So, okay. Now, all right. So on that, just on that subject. So, how as a military serving person who would think they'd benefit from taking CBD to treat whatever? Uh, do we know of any recommended or safe retailers or place sources to go and get CBD? I'm not asking you to give in. Well, if you do know of any, then, and you can, if not, how how can? How I can actually, uh, there's one that comes to mind in this country, which is a company called Brains Biosutical. They are at a slightly higher end price point, and that's because they do an extra distillation process to their products. So they are super pure. They are 99.0% CBD. So they are very, very pure. That's not to say that Brains Biosutical are the only one out there doing this. There's definitely others. They're just the only one that is currently in my brain. Lucky for them today. Um, I... I'm sure that if you if you go online and the key point is to look for the purity of the product. 
and the purity of the product that is backed up by a certificate of analysis, which is basically your report from the lab that is reputable, <laughs> that isn't, you know, been fudged or, the, or whatever. Oh, yeah. um, unfortunately, <clears throat> we don't have a good system of tracking it. I have worked with a number of groups, um, you know, the ACI um, and, and others to try and come up with a way that we can have almost like a kite mark for CBD in this country. So that if you are, say, um, a, a serving um, serving member of, of the military, you can go and buy a CBD product that's got some kind of kite mark on and know you're safe. Whereas we don't have that at the moment. So if anybody from the government is listening, do, do engage. <laughs> 